How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome back to Rewrite, where last time we were here, we we kind of were the bait, and it worked out pretty much like Akade hoped it would. We found out the, the guy in red, and he has a couple of his cronies, they're summoners, they're actively looking for us, they're actively hating us, they want us to, I don't know, die or whatever. Um, but for some reason, they didn't go all out on us, and also, it looks like they might be powering up their summons somehow, like, via using blood. Like actively having them killing people makes them more powerful makes them more ravenous which is you know just just great so yeah we're, we're trying to figure that out we also finally reunited with uh gill and penny which is really good and learned that they apparently are the product of some very radical like testing that was going on with gaia where they were trying to make self-sustaining familiars familiars that could not only cultivate their own intelligence, but also could generate their own power and not, wouldn't have to rely on a summoner to you know, feed them life force just to be alive. And it looks like they might have been a success, but they were the result of like the lab falling apart, probably rather violently, so we're not sure what. And then I kind of pointed out how they actually remind me a lot of the, um, because they, they use the idea of an id, saying that like by, you create an id, which is like a consciousness. Uh, that could, you know, fuel itself in the rules of the system of summoning. And I point out that Gil and Penny actually remind me of this, of the, uh, not, not the id, like the ego, the, an ego powers that, and they, they, that Gil reminds me of an id, and Penny reminds me of a super ego, which are, you know, two aspects of an actual, uh, that, that influence the core of an individual, which is the ego. So, I think that there's some kind of relation there, that they are kind of, what they're supposed to be, but their aspects, and they talk about each other as each other's half. So, like, I think they were supposed to be a single entity that broke into two pieces for whatever reason. Yeah, that's all the theory crafting I got for us. So let's just jump into it because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have energy for today, but let's just do what we can and jump into the story. So day breaks. I feel great, all things considered. What? <laughs> Let out a big yawn. Guess I'll wake up. I brace against the bed and pull myself up. Squish. Huh? My hand feels like I just touched something weird. Wait, what? <coughs> oh, it's Penny. Oh, okay. Penny's asleep next to me. I don't know how I deal with this. I mean, it'd be funny if I accidentally groped Chihaya first thing in the morning. But this leaves me feeling kind of deflated. <coughs> she wakes up. Morning. <laughs> At least she's feeling flustered too. Were you cold? Yeah. So no. She starts fidgeting, which is kind of cute, actually. It's an interesting way to put it, but okay. Ah, uh, I see. She's like a cat who likes sleeping in the same place because it feels safe. Well, that's all right, I guess. Not really. No. <laughs> yeah, you stop breaking the fourth wall. I don't think that I really need a route of a strange of a strange organism. I get dressed and step into the hallway. Where's Gil? Hmm. The witch room. There's too many darn rooms in this house. Coming. Penny hovers over the over uh, in front of a door, and I open it. He's not here. Is he in Chihaya's room? He's been putting on the move, putting the moves on her since yesterday. He might, but he might just do it. At least he's perfectly harmless. His worst behavior is on par with a perverted grade schooler. Hey, morning. Shihaya's already up and about before we can get to her. She's up quite early today. Have you seen Gil? Yes? I Huh, wonder where he went. It doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't think he'd leave the premises anyway. Shihaya-san? Yes? Sakuya sucks his head out of Shihaya's room. Can I come to What? Uh oh. <laughs> so I think he tried to sneak in there to, to, to sleep next to her 
but she might have accidentally crushed him. Gil is unconscious. The whites of his eyes are showing. Little beast snuck in last night. Can imagine what happened. Gil doesn't know about Jihaya's brute strength. And he probably learned about it just as he was sneaking into her bed. Is he alive? You're always so, she's so optimistic. She always is like, hey, he's fine. <laughs> oh, good. Careful with his head now. I just, what, I, I, what? I mean, there's been an accident. I'm going, I'm going. I bet it was. <laughs> no, you don't. Your sentence. And Penny and I double team him out of rage. Maybe you're not mad, but I'm very annoyed. He can't just go be doing as he pleases. And it smelled nice. He's making me jealous. At least he's sorry about it. By the way, you're pretty casual about coming out of Chihaya's room. My brain is not the right place to be reading a sentence like that, and... Anyway. Excuse me, what?! I'm glad Okotaru is in the same way. Uh-huh. Wait, so he's fine?! I'll snub in for him tomorrow. Sakuya smile, smiles a smile that says, This is the difference between us. I've known her for much longer than you have. Wait, hang on. Doesn't this mean that Chihai is bothered by me, a member of the opposite gender, entering her room? That means I'm actually ahead of you. Do like, stop it! <laughs> what? Don't you know anything about how girls feel when they're going through puberty? Girls that age are very particular about their rooms being seen by men. Thus, she didn't see you as a man. So, no, this girl, Jihaisan, Kono Yotarokumo, Danse to stay ishiki stayed. That's Kotaru. Dakara Sakuya, I'm not at the mask, and Kotaro has a kashi, it did a kid. Right to the soul. Embarrassing. The language of girl in love. Shut up. You can't be talking like that. Uh, ow. I got hit. He's like, wait, no, no, wait! Oh, poor guy. <laughs> and so, winter descends on the butler once more. <laughs> the guy's surprisingly ignorant of all the subtleties. Anyway, let's get something to eat. So Gail's quietly dragged away by Penny. Well, it'll be late for school if we wait for the butler to unfreeze, so we quickly leave the house. You know, this is the first time we've walked together in the morning. So Jihaya always beats me to the classroom. I wonder what is going to happen to my English homework. Oh, it feels like we've been gone ages, but it must it was just a weekend and like a Monday, I guess. Ugh, really? Feels like it's been longer than just a day. Tell me about it, man. I mean, what has it been for us? Like three weeks? <laughs> it's been way too much happening lately. I entered the classroom. Oh, Hey, morning. They're oddly energetic. There's no need for that. That's true. No. Now, are you just saying that they both joined in leaving or are they actually together? 
みんなオカルト研究会の人ばかりみんなで神隠しにあったんじゃないかって話してたくらいさ俺は猟奇殺人に巻き込まれたって探偵と一緒に逃避行中みたいな You know what? Ironically, that would be a little more comforting than, than what's currently actually happening. Eh? Black guy, she needs to come up to the end of the match, too, じゃないの Squid game, huh? Orewa, by no to mill, she'll come for the top. Now, that one actually is kind of true. There are other theories. Some say I got cursed when I was about to lay my hands on the king's treasure. Some say I awakened the hero's blood inside me and sent out to defeat a demon lord with nothing more than a bamboo pole. It's not even close. I'm just making stuff up at this point. Anyway, the contest for cool disappearance stories goes on long enough for me to slip by them. They're, they're still carefree. But their carefree days are reassuring to me. Oh, please. Everyone's just having fun speculating what happened to me while I was gone. I reached my seat. Hello, Yoshino. <laughs> Hello. Is he about to have a、uh, Kotori like, explosion? I said hello. Kanbe wa do shita? Yeah. Huh? I've been wondering if this was gonna come up too, because I've been thinking it odd that he's just like, best friend Kotori, always been there, just suddenly not there, and we've like, not even thought about her really. I mean, he's brought her up a couple times, but not much. Hold up, what's Jihaya got to do with any of this? And I really don't know what happened to Kotori. <laughs> Are you seriously upset that I'm chummy with Jihaya? <laughs> the table slammed. Slightly muffled by the bustle of the classroom, but everyone could still hear it. Yoshino looks like he just swallowed a lemon. Hi! Home room Our homeroom teacher walks in. <laughs> Yoshino takes his seat and turns his back toward me. Our conversation is over. Homeroom soon comes to an uneventful end. It's almost time for the Harvest Festival, so the teachers remind us not to slack off too much. That was about it. Yoshino gets up as the class ends. Where are you going? <laughs> He ignores me. I decide to tag along. I follow him to the hallway. Did you hear me? I asked where you were going. Benjoda. <laughs> Jeez, I never know what you. I know you never liked me, but you're being really toxic right now. What? I didn't say that. Look! Yoshio is pretty much right. I mean, good grief, man. Temeto-no-dueru-so-na-mon-o-nozomi-tsuzuketa-ore-ga-bakarashiku-nat-te-kuru-kanbe-ga-mata-konak-nat-te-temeto-kanbe-wa-ga-so-much-for-complicated-na
Honestly, I shouldn't be talking to you either. I don't want to see you get in trouble. I hope you understand. Is it that bad? So this whole duel is he wanted to prove that he was better than us in a way that maybe in his way that he wanted Kotori to the reciprocate or at least understand. Fetch! Wow! Yoshino turns around to leave. Yoshino. Man slut. I think that's supposed to be a man whore, but oh well. Right. Kotori. Not that I've never- I, I never had feelings for her. I still like her now. I like her, and I want to be with her, but she'll always be a childhood friend to me. I told her how I felt once, but she turned me down. It's a miracle we're still good friends. Man's got a point. My conflicted feelings won't go away for Kotori got a boyfriend. The Yoshino? They'd make a god couple, but maybe they'd be good together. Although I don't think he has a chance in the way he is now. Kotaro? Yeah? Oh, right. Okay, okay. She's oddly diligent today. Do you think we'd make a good couple? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think we would. We wouldn't be half bad. You don't put your life on the line for someone you don't care about. So I guess that's how it is. For now, at least. Bye, Yoshino. Going by his personality, he'll probably think I'm a womanizer for the rest of, my, of his life. Lunch. Things proceed as usual, probably because my classmates have extended their theories about my disappearance. I heard them talking about Inoue. Apparently, she was already found somewhere in the city. She then transferred out. That's about it. She was definitely wandering the forest in critical condition. I regret not being able to help her back then. Man, it was such a major part of the last story, and it's just like glossed over here. I mean, it kind of makes sense. We're in a whole different timeline, and just the priorities are different and shifted, but it hurts, man. It hurts to have us just kind of brush off the Kotori, and like not even, not even really pursuing where did she go? She's vanished. I mean, he says he cares about her. He says he still thinks about her. And, like, even if he's a, like, kind of says, like, you know, okay, the ro romance side's never gonna happen. But you still think he'd be, like, concerned that she's just not around anymore. That's kind of terrifying. But then, like, in a way, like, her whole thing, like, we wanted to help her, we wanted to find her. Then she's just, oh, he, she was here, but now she's gone. He just kind of swallows it with the rest of us. As for Yoshino, he returned to class sometime after our confrontation and actually paid attention. But he left soon after the lunch bell rang. Who do I usually eat with again? That's my biggest concern at the moment. My same old routine is still here. My classroom hasn't changed that much by two absences. Still bustling. It feels like everything that happened up until yesterday is imaginary. And yet it feels like I'm watching the classroom from a great distance. I'm floating. I'm the only one that's back a blank among the rest. I mean, really. What is it that I want? I thought I wanted something that was within arm's reach, but now I know. I'm not even reaching out for it. In fact, I'm pretending not to see it. You want to know something? I genuinely believe I could have survived a nuclear blast by hiding, hiding my head under my desk. I mean, I'm not terrified to the point of losing sleep. But knowledge can be power. Take survival, for instance. Without fear, people would easily die. A cat who isn't aware the dump truck will kill it will end up flat on, flat on the asphalt. I guess that's why I'm a stray cat. I remember the summoner's nickname for me. You're right, I would. Anybody would die if a nuke fell on their head. But at least you can take countermeasures to prepare for the worst. Knowledge affords you that much. The students here don't know their lives are in actual danger. They don't know that people who have no qualms about ending lies are walking the streets under the cover of night. I am able to resist this complacency and see fear as fear. That's why it feels like I'm floating in a sea of white. Mm. Wow, yo, 
For being someone who normally is so unperceptive, again, she's really surprising me here, but she's just seeing right through us. Used to, yeah. But things are different now. Can't have fun without everyone here. Kothadu's gone. Class rep's gone. Suzuru's not in the country courtyard. Prez isn't even in the club room. そうですか? She looks sad. But it's fine. We'll just have to find ways of having fun with the two of us. Hi. She's like, okay. <laughs> I have lunch with Chihaya. I walk through the courtyard with Chihaya. The bell signals the end of lunch rings and I'm late to class because I'm still wandering with her. I sleep for the remainder of my classes. Until Chihaya wakes me up. School is over. An ordinary day of school goes by without a single anomaly. That would have marked the end of my old routine. Wait. Nandesu? We still have club activities. <sighs> what if we went on a club activity? As you and me. そうですけど... And maybe Prez's lackey will be there? And here she is. Come on, we're club members. At least you could do is let us in. Doesn't make sense you'd allow us in and we're not. Uh, and we're not. We take our club activities more seriously than you do. She's like, oh. She lets us pass without a word. Yep. I'll keep it up till I'm dead. Unlike you, we would like to enjoy our student life. Just like that, Akane's secretary turns her back to us. You know, I never got your name. Despite us being in the same club. Miyajima. Catch you later, Miyajima. Miyajima takes a ring off uh, uh takes a ring of keys and gives it to me. I have every intent to. We're free men to the end. She walks away. I think she laughed for a split second. Whether out of contempt or goodwill, I'll never know. Kotaro? Hmm? Oh, interesting. What? Would you have preferred freedom fighter? <laughs> I thought I was going to get her signature. That's what I hate about you just now. Is this what you like about me? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I opened the door with a smirk on my face. Greetings. Well, the baseball team and other sport clubs say their greetings regardless of who's present. Kinda like that. The room's dead silent. At least the furniture's still here. But it's a little weird this place is still furnished at all. Hmm. Especially when President's table has been cleared off. Her faithful gaming laptop nowhere to be found. Well, what else did I expect? However, the spare PC we used for the site updates is still here. I turned it on. It's been a while since I checked out the blog. Bam ringing supreme in the comments section. It wasn't like this before. You know... Nandesu? Do you think Prez regularly deleted this stuff before? Ah. Uh... But again, she doesn't seem to be the type to do that. Even if she did, she'd never admit it. Yeah. It was a dumb club. But as dumb as it was, it was a lot of fun. We talk as though we talk as I go through the blog updates. The thing we the things we both know. The things only I know. We go through each one of them. We didn't always get along. We had conflict, conflicts and argued with each other. Now I think about it, our little feuds made for the perfect check and balance for the club. I don't think we have have sweet memories. So why? Why do I like talking about all the things that happened a while ago? Hey. Nandesu? Nostalgia is one of humanity's worst habits. I've been thinking. Dakara, nandesu? And yet there's only one thing pushing me forward. No, that won't work. Prez is a senior, so she's graduating soon. Dakara. Everything will come to an end. Pretty soon, by the looks of it. You know, if this thing still exists by the next year, the thing that I call my routine, 
The present lasts only for a lot uh, for a long as a moment. When it becomes the past, it immediately coated with a shiny layer of paint. Oh, I guess we could always call Prez over from university. Then we can go to investigate incidents again. Shizuru and Lucio will be there. We could even invite Yoshino. You know what? We might as well throw Sakuya into the mix too. Try getting bro try try getting bored with that crew around. A layer of paint might not be not be natural, but it sure makes things look pretty. But then I realize it's not quite right. I thought I was acting for my own sake. But really I'm acting for hers. For this girl whom this routine is so new and fresh. For her brightly colored youth. Think back to what happened yesterday. I could have died in that fight. Will that happen again? I don't know. Compared to the vast macro world, my existence is, a, is, is so micro that it might as well be insignificant. Shift mood. Destroy the world? That's not something I can do. What I want is to protect the world. I want to fix this broken world. I want to wipe the tears away from a girl who's crying. That's what I'm staking my life for. It's the only thing that I can do. Big words from a boy living only for love. But I'll change this world. I'll change it so Chihaya and I can stay the same. Club went on for a while. Honestly, it's always depressing how little's changed. Not a thing. Investigate might be too strong a word. I mean, the rumors say the otherworldly thing only happened at night. Can't do much during the day. Uh, why is that? え。手の次は足ですね。Wait, what? London Bridge, Murata, and went up the clock, Katoru? Ka uh, Kato? Okay, the names do help. Bamboo dance? Kochirate, footwork no shigyo. Hmm. Huh? Nani ka? The problem is, it looks really dumb. Yotaro kun ni awasete jumbi shita tsumori desu na. Uh huh. No, remember last time. This might look be stupid, but it's definitely going to come in handy. Just need a second to process this. Fine, fine, I'll do it. I approach the bamboo poles. Uh, let's have a good one. Yes, yes. Jeez, these guys are all so in sync. Bamboo dance ni inochi o kakeru o futari desu. Masa ni konkai no tokkun ni uttetsuke to iyeru desho. I do, I, I, I really, it wouldn't, I, I could, I could believe Saki would want both to make a training session that works and to make him look foolish at the same time. But this is leaning more towards the foolish side. Maybe it's revenge for this morning. Oh, I see. Dewa, start. Okay, uh... London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> Ow! The rope smacks into me. Yotaro-kun wa jitsu ni rizumu kan ga nai desu ne. Oh no, this is also stupid. I can't take it seriously. Taisetsu na no wa tekyou ryuku desu yo. Hai! One, two, one, two! That's not helping! This is impossible! I'm so s I'm sorry, but you have another training method? Oh yeah, the added from hell it definitely helps. I take it back. I'll make the best of what we have. London Bridge is falling down. Huh? <laughs> Pretty easy once I get the hang of it. This is still rough though. Please don't watch too closely. Dewa, speed up. Sure. <laughs> okay, so... They've got sticks of bamboo. I'm trying to picture what this must be. Are they like... Hey, oh, is this like a bamboo switch version of double dutch jump rope or something? You're out of your mind! So, He was going so quick I couldn't hear the vowels! 
Are you sure these guys are ordinary humans? Hey, Jojin desu. Wow, your new training could accomplish so much. Takuya tags in. <laughs> Takuya's feet move at an incredible speed. Wow, Kaoto and Murata, uh, Murata might even be more amazing than Sakuya. Toma, kono yona kanji de. Kotaro nara, kore kora egokiru n janai desu? I see. I have to use my su su superhuman abilities. This would be an interesting way to like set an alarm in the morning. Ah! However, ow! Nope, can't do it. Hmm. Man, there's no way. So you buy. Tadakai no saichu na doshimaska. I'd run. Nigerare na ibaiwa. I'd figure something out. Deva. Nantoka shite kudasai. Uh, he's got a point though. Be like, I'll figure something out. He's like, well, then do it right now. Show me what you do. Right. There is something I can do. I can enhance myself. I'll give it a shot. Focus. What? What I do? Ah. Uh, I don't think I've ever enhanced my body while moving before. But it would be really useful if I could master it. Alright. Uh, excuse me. I can't focus if they're so loud. Dang it. I mean, Saki is right on every point. <laughs> you can't just go changing the song? Are you serious? So she murata some wa Kato san no emotional na adoribuni Sekai de Yu Tsuite Kiru Preya des. How did you even find these people? I'm getting tired just thinking about it. But I guess concert rhythm wouldn't be enough for training. Hmm. That rhythm shift at the end. Alright, go faster. Sharpen the point of the needle. Feel the rhythm. Do this. Oh, ass! <laughs> Ow! What hit me? God, I'm getting tripped up by losing my balance. Yeah! And then I fall down. Saki is looking down at me while holding a boxing glove at the end of a laundry pole. <laughs> you suck! Oh no, the legendary training equipment! You look like you're having fun. He's like, oh, I'm having a great time. Yeah. Dang it. Bring it on! Hi, Ti has been watching the entire farce. And it motivates me somewhat. Ah! I mean, come on, she's cheering for you. You can't be too down. Another hour passes. I can't. My knees are literally knocking into each other. So this Yes. The two bamboo pool uh polar speed away. Thanks. I think that was the full extent of my current potential. So this I don't think the ability lets me enhance myself while I'm moving. I'd appreciate. If you didn't expect that I could do whatever you can do. I think I did more than my best. My feet were dancing for like an hour. Quite. Wait, you... Oh, right, she made those sandwiches before. I was about to say, like, should we be worried? No. She replies confidently. When did you... Sanjipunhodosigitari 
、彼女などという言い方は、金輪際、コキュートスの底にでも置いてきていただきたい。You know I didn't mean it that way. そうですね。夕飯の支度をするのは初めてです。I figured. ですが、以前にはたしなみとして、いくらかの料理の手ほどきはさせていただきました。And plus, didn't she make those sandwiches? Like, don't we remember that? I see. That's a relief. Gosh, am I ever famished? Time for some grub. Alright, just use the kitchen. What? Yeah. But just a little bit. Like, what? Like us? Huh? I'm not sure. 忘れてください。Oh, is it just maybe, or maybe it's how familiar she's being with him? 私はあなたが嫌いですから。It's like you may have been accepted here formally, and I might be kind of warming up to you, but I hate you. You don't have to keep telling me that. そうですね。Sakia smirks. His wordiness can be really annoying. But to think that he considers me family. I mean, it's only been three days. But I understand the sentiment. Sandwiches and miso soup have been set on the table. Oh, looks like a little off. And it's so unbalanced. Uh huh. I look at my sandwich. It's probably misshapen because Mishiaya couldn't control her strength. Some of the filling is spilling out the side. Ham, tomato, lettuce, and cucumber. The ham's on the thicker side. Anyway, doesn't look like there's anything to worry about. You can't really mess up a sandwich unless you put something weird in it. Which brings us to the real problem at hand. The miso soup looks completely normal. Seaweed, tofu, bits of floating chive. Should be okay. Bet the punchline's gonna be something like, oh, I forgot to add the stock. Whatever. Thanks for the food. Good point. Just be thankful or keep his lips quiet, but hey, she likes him for who he is, so whatever. Her only problem is that she lacks awareness. Yeah, it's pretty good. Give Chihaya a thumbs up with a, with a mouthful of sandwich. Muy bueno. So desu She looks happy. Mayonnaise wa watashi no otesei no mono o tsukatta no desu ne. Nuru ryo to gu wa totemo ii balance da to omoimasu yo. Ehehe. The whole scene is heartwarming. This must be what it feels like when your daughter cooks for you for the first time. Can't help but smiling as I reach for the miso soup. Well, it's Jihaya's cooking. I bring the bowl to my lips and take a big sip. And I spit it back out. It's bitter. Why is it so bitter? Uh, I don't understand. Is miso supposed to be bitter? And the aftertaste is even worse. I get up, grasp my throat, and do a weird little dance. It's so bitter. Bad! Oh no, I might end up learning poison breath. Quickly glug some water. It's bad. Two mouthfuls, you'll die. Three mouthfuls, you get a vision of hell. I pronounce this dish of miso soup from hell. I usually usually like choking it down as best he can. I can't believe you're going back for more. His mind is more powerful than his body. Did you not taste it as you went along? Oh my gosh, ran out of hot water. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying you boiled all the water out? Oh my gosh, he's died. Well, what's the matter? Can't say I have. Gosh. Sweet? How is it sweet when the rest of it's bitter? Clunk. Sakuya! And so the miso soup from hell is sent back where it came from. <laughs> oh no. Thanks for the food. Finish eating my sandwich. First, you need to stop improvising your ingredients. Curry is about the only dish that lets you get away with it. Curry is as vast as the ocean, accepts everything like a loving mother. Within reason, of course. Mind if I take a nap? I'm really tired. I'm so exhausted. 
、夜も調査に学校行くんですよね。早めに起きてくださいよ。Yep, just need two hours. And so I retired to my room. ドンタッター、ドンタッター。<笑> We're not gonna be sleeping, are we? 疲れてきましたわ。These two are, ba are bamboo dancing too. What are you doing? Oh, or a more mine yaw at the talk, go stem it up on his hand. Demo studies at all, you know, I'm a sema. Hmm. Ew, feel like I'm getting a third person view of myself. Really does look stupid. Maybe later. I'm dead tired. Magica, go so, Demi, that gets you can look at an eye. I'm just tired. So, she got a lima sema, eh? By the way, what happened to your room? That day. こっちの方が落ち着くんですもの。Fair. Oh, alright, that's fine, I guess. I slide into my bed. I think I hear some people talking, but sleep soon overtakes me. 起きてください。もう2時間経ちましたよ。My consciousness slowly returns. It's Chihaya. She's here to wake me up. Aww. That makes me happy. <laughs> I should enjoy the situation and, te and tease her a bit. もう、なんで起きないんですか It's not for Russell. I can hear her breath in my ear as she stakes me awake. シハイさん、ここは私です。Wait, no, no, I'm awake, I'm awake! あ、はい。は天王寺小太郎くん。ばばっちに目を覚まし。He's got a megaphone as they shut up! <laughs> あ、起きました。おはようございます。Well, they seem cheerful. Dang it, should have gotten up when Chihai was shaking me. 起きれるなら起きてくださいよ。Ah. Hmm. My head's still a bit fuzzy, but my body's well rested. My enhancements must be helping my body to recover faster. I'll be on my way. Slowly. So, yeah. Gakko no security in the door, so I do what's more this. So, I'll see you in the room. I'll see you in the room. I'll see you in the room. I'll sneak into one of the rooms and try not to trip the alarm. The windows don't have sensors on them, which is why I left them unlocked earlier today. I won't have any trouble getting in now. Jihai san. くれぐれも、OK、大丈夫だと思いますけどねまあそうだとは思いますがおい俺たちも行くぜ何かのお役に立てるかもしれませんわ I would say absolutely as long as you're okay with it Hmm Gil did help me in my last encounter with a red dog Alright you can hop in my bag Oh 静かにしてますわ Our expedition party gains an additional two members Alright It's a very short episode if I end here, but I'm like kind of running on fumes. I apologize for that. I think I can go a little longer, but I feel like we're gonna be at the beginning of something crazy, so it's like, ugh. Alright, let's go a little longer. We leave the mansion. Oh, right, I should enhance myself. Hang on, Chihaya. What is this? Oh, it's interesting. He only pushed it like a tiny bit. It's not a full tick. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. I enhanced my legs to make the best of the afternoon's training session. I can do it a lot faster, too. I'm getting the hang of enhancing myself. Let's get going. Hi. I used the Aurora Whip to sneak into the school building. This is a lot easier compared to when I was an ordinary student. I remember Prez doing most of the heavy lifting last time. Uh, What? Yeah, so no. Did I? I don't want to miss that. Huh? I was holding Chihaya when I latched into a tree with a roar whip. You were very soft. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Look, what do you want me to do? You would have fallen right off if I didn't hold you close. Who is going to pass that? <laughs> What's up? Koko Chihaya ga sura. そもそも私たちが迷い込んだのもここでしたわね。空間があるんだ。The other dimension。こんなところにまであったんですか。What is this dimension? I've been wanting this answer。ガイアが魔物の牧場にしている空間のことです。魔物を養うエネルギーが豊富で、そこから魔物は呼び出されているんです。Okay, so rich in energy, parallel world. Wonder where it comes from exactly. Like. I'm guessing it's likely tied to Gaia itself,、uh, and hence, like maybe, like the well is almost like a a manifestation of like that plane like merging with ours, which is why it just has this energy just pouring out of it constantly. 
So what is that dimension exactly? Aha. Uh -huh. What? So, so, like,空間の space, or something, they made a city there and lived in it. Gaia people were there. That's the story. Oh, so that might be like the replica city we saw. Which I wonder why it's so bizarre there. Then, like, why didn't they try and actually make it realistic? And then, but then the other side of it, it also could mean that the the population of Kazumat City is actually a lot larger than it would appear. Right. Must be what I stepped into when I got lost in town that one time. Gotcha. So if they bring technology and it just doesn't work. Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yep, sure. Okay. We'll just... It's, it's a dimension that's mysterious, thus it's the mysterious dimension. Also, I, I like her scholarly face here. That's cute. Not a really satisfying explanation. Anyway, the place is familiar. Uh, this is it's the place familiars come from, right? That explains the ba black road man and wa and his wandering black dogs. So, do familiars teleport into reality when they get summoned? Okay. Jaya holds up her, uh, her hand to illustrate. Okay. That's kind of a pain in the butt. That's I see. That's a lot that, that there's a lot to this familiar business. Whoa, that's interesting. Wait, so how do you form a contract with it? You sure know a lot about familiars. I guess you really are a professional summoner. So this Interesting. That's good to know. Wow, you guys are useless. Hey, I agree. I think he's just being uh, facetious. What? It's got a cute ring to it, and you're cute. I decided to end the discussion and move on. Hmm. A place where I got lost last time. The endless hallway. And yet it looks exactly like a school. Oh. Either it's crafted that way, or it's part of connecting like that dimension to this dimension is it needs to have a very similar feel to it, which that would explain even why like the stuff on the other side, like it was made of stone and is useless, but it's meant to just mimic reality because that maybe makes it easier to breach that barrier. Probably some sort of mysterious power again. That's the only reasonable explanation. The structural quality may be poor, but on the surface is exactly the same as the real thing. We head down the stairs. The basement. A chill runs through the air. Footsteps clack on the concrete. A large space made of materi strange materials. The world behind the world. You think familiars are going to try and jump us? Which means we have 0% encounter rate for the time being. Let's check it out. We'll continue down the long staircase. This place is huge. This thing keeps going on. No, 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 no. Good, I didn't know. God, you all so stupid. Never, ever do that. How about you stay with me, Chihaya? Kind of, yeah. Besides, I'm still probably worried about myself, too. 
We might not run into any minions here, but that just makes us the perfect candidate for a boss room. I don't think these two will get lost, but it'll be dangerous if we do. Jaya meekly agrees. She seems to have learned her lesson from our last encounter with the dogs. Be careful out there. That's true. Gil is definitely fast. I don't think anything could keep up with him at full speed. Also, will you be able to find us after we split up? Not really. I don't have that kind of power. Unfortunately, I don't have the capacity to sense anything like that. Seems that, seems that's that. So interesting, so if we don't have a contract with them, well, maybe we do. Maybe it's like not a true formal contract, but it, like it feels like they are bonded to us to the point where like, like they are drawn to us, they feel safe around us. It might be an informal contract kind of a situation. Bye guys, please be safe. The two of them fly away. We'll keep moving forward. Bye. We continue walking. All right. I think we will end here because I have a feeling stuff's about to happen. This is about a good place for us to end. So we're in the midst of exploring the other dimension, which we're finally learning about, thankfully, because I'm having so many questions. So I'm already so thrilled in just the past 10 minutes just to have that much information gathered. It's been so long since I've been able to learn anything about the dimension. And it's been really like bothering me. So I'm very happy to hear about this. So. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed yourself today. It's definitely a little bit more of a passive episode, but like it's clear we're we're really like shuttling along towards some pretty important stuff. Um, I do think it's sad that he's just kind of dismissed Goldtody, but I imagine that's going to become a pretty common thread for every other ending in the game. So that's a little depressing. But anyway, we'll keep moving forward. I don't know if there's really anything else to say here. It's just kind of. I'm excited to learn more. I'm excited for next week's episode. I'm excited to continue to pursue this story. And uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping into it like through the end of the year and into the next. So I hope you're all willing to stick around for the long haul, considering how many different plots we're going to be like encountering. But I'm still happy to be here. So I appreciate you all and every uh, second we have and being able to join this journey together, and especially to the patrons and members who make it possible. Thank you so much for being here. Your direct support means the world to me. It makes it possible for me to make more content and hopefully we'll continue to make more interesting content and like continue to make it in a better, higher quality as I move forward. So thank you so much for all that. I appreciate you all. And until next video, watch me if you see me next. I'll see you there.